Spartans, you've just completed a beast or an ultra and you need to recover. What can you do? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's podcast. I'm Dr. Nada, and I'm the founder of the Integrative Health Program at MGH and the founder of Sage Tonic. And this is Spartan Health. We Spartans know that movement or exercise for the body is one of the pillars of long-term health and wellness. But once you've pushed your body hard, it's time to recover. One of the things that happens, whether it be aerobic or weight training, is that cells in the body consume huge amounts of oxygen. That process, called oxidation, can damage cell membranes and impair their ability to function. Externally, how does that manifest? We've all been there. Muscle soreness, inflammation, and fatigue. What we're going to talk about for the next few minutes is how to correct that and optimize your healing process. I'm going to list five simple steps you can take to jumpstart the healing and recovery process. I'm a big believer in food as medicine. I love going right to the source, and that's food for nutrients. But some of the things I mention do come in supplement form too. First up, antioxidants. One you can use, quercetin. It's found in apples, blueberries, and buckwheat herbal tea. Next, an anti-inflammatant, bromelain. It's an enzyme derived from pineapple. You can get it either by drinking the juice or eating the fruit. It's more concentrated in the core of the pineapple. So if you're cutting it up, don't toss the core. How about minerals? There's a mineral that aids muscle recovery and it also calms the brain, and that's magnesium. Available as a supplement, but naturally found in nuts, especially almonds and Brazil nuts, seeds, things like pumpkin or flax, and legumes, those are beans, chickpeas, and lentils. Another important factor for rapid recovery is healthy blood glucose homeostasis or balance. And there's a natural spice that can help, and it's cinnamon. Based on recent studies, it's thought to help with blood sugar control by increasing insulin sensitivity. This can allow the body to better perform tissue repair. Anywhere from one to six grams of cinnamon have been used in clinical studies, but how much is that really? Well, one gram of ground cinnamon is about half a teaspoon, so it doesn't take much to reap a lot of healthy benefits. Last up, number five, hydrate. With what else? H2O. Your body is roughly 55% water for women and 60% for men, and you decrease your water stores through perspiration, cellular activity, and metabolism during intense workouts. So drink up. We just covered a lot of stuff, so let's recap. Five nutrients to aid body recovery. Number one, antioxidants, quercetin. Number two, anti-inflammatant, bromelain. Number three, mineral, magnesium. Number four, blood glucose balance, cinnamon. Number five, hydration with what else? Water. These easy steps will help you recover optimally post-workout or post-race. Hey Spartans, I wanna thank you for listening to Spartan Health with Dr. Nada on the Spartan Up podcast. Now you can get Spartan inspiration and information almost every day from the Spartan Up podcast. And of course, come back every Sunday for more Spartan holistic health tips with Dr. Nada on Spartan Health.